A Muslim sees the unseen. A Muslim sees the unseen. And if we don't see the unseen, then we might fall victim to some ideas that will attack our aqidah. But a Muslim sees the unseen. That's how Allah described us in the Quran. الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ Right? So we interact with the unseen. And part of that means that what we're doing right now, we're seeing the, the, the invisible reality of what we just did. Right? What we just did, there's a beautiful verse in the Quran that God subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tells each of us. He's telling each of us. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَا أُخْفِيَ لَهُمْ مِنْ قُرَّةِ أَعْيُنٍ جَزَاءً بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ God says to you, He says, No person knows the delights of the eyes hidden for him or her because of what they used to do. So sitting here right now, praising our Prophet وسلم, doing dhikr, no person knows the delights of the eyes hidden for him or her, hidden for him because of what they used to do. So we need to keep our eye on the prize. Ramadan's ending, not yet. We still have a beautiful night, another day or two. All right, don't check out yet. <laughs> still got some Quran to read, some dua to make. There's some people that we, you haven't made dua for yet. Remember them by name, right? But Ramadan, inshallah, is going to end soon. Right? Ramadan is going to end soon, but we will continue, inshallah. And the Rabb of the Ramadan will continue after Ramadan. The Rabb of Ramadan is the Rabb of Shawwal. <laughs> the Lord of Ramadan is the Lord of Shawwal. And so when, when we finish this month, we keep our eye on the prize. We keep our eye on the prize. When our eye slips off the prize, that's when the dunya gets heavy. The prize is Allah and the next life. <laughs> and when, we're, when the eyes are on the prize, and the eyes of the heart and our eyes are on the prize, then we can, we can ride the waves of the dunya, you know. But when our eyes slips and we start to see all these other things, then the dunya gets heavy. And then we need to remind ourselves, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me pause the world to be with the creator of the world. Let me pause the world for a moment. Let me, get, let me check back in. Let me check back in. All right, eye on the prize. Allah, you know, yes, this person just bought a fancy car that I can't afford. <laughs> yes, this person just got a promotion and I, and, and I didn't. Yes, this person is married and I'm not. Yes, this person is pretty and handsome, handsome, prettier than me. Yes, that, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get back. Allah. Keep my eye on the prize. Ya Allah, I live for you. Ya Allah, I breathe for you. Ya Allah, you made me. You designed me. You are Al-Musawwir. You designed me. And you are Al-Hakim. And you're, you're, you, you have all the wisdom. And I trust you. I trust you. Keep my eye on the prize. And Ya Allah, I'm with you. And I'm going to be patient for a few days here. And then... You, you made a deal with the Prophet ﷺ. Each of you, in each of us, have a deal with Allah and a deal with the Prophet ﷺ. And I'm going to tell you these, and then we're going to go do the, the special prayer, Salat al-Tasabih. Each of us have a contract with Allah and a contract with the Prophet ﷺ. We have a contract with Allah when He, when he made you and created you and blew from his, in, in a manner befitting to Him from His spirit, from His ruh. Right? And he said, am I not your Lord, your maker, your, your master, your owner? And you said, Bala, yes you are. So you made a contract with him. And that contract is to obey him. And we either obey, and Islam is a debt. Religion is a debt to God. Deen is a dain. Religion is a, is a debt. We owe God prayer. It's not a, we owe God. We either do it in this life or the next life. But it's his. We owe him five prayers a day. We owe him five prayers a day. We owe him zakah. We owe him fasting in Ramadan. We owe him. We either do it in this life or the next. Right? So we have a contract to obey Allah. And then we have a, a deal with our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
right? When they went to the Aqaba pledge and they pledged allegiance to the Prophet ﷺ and they put his hand in his hand, right? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And they said, and he said to them, will you pray? Yes. Will you be honest? Yes. Will you trip? Will you protect me? Yes. Will you, will you not care when people insult you because of your religion? Did you hear that, guys? Will you not care when people insult you because of your religion? He said, yes. He said, okay. If you do that, then what do you get? And what do you get? You get one thing. What do you get? You get paradise. That's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. You made a deal with the Prophet ﷺ. And you know when we collect that deal? We collect that deal at the fountain, at the Day of Judgment, and he's waiting for us, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's waiting for us. Yeah, so we fulfill our part of the deal, we get paradise. That's the promise, ladies and gentlemen. Ahlan <laughs> Muhammad Constantino. I love you. Catch it, bro, catch the kiss. There you go. Put it on your cheek, not on your cheek, bro. There you go, I love you. So that's our deal with our Prophet Sallallahu and our contract with Allah. May Allah be gentle with us. May Allah bless all of you and all of us and accept from us. We're going to do a very special, unique prayer with Ammu Tarif. This is in both that I know of, that I studied in the Hanafi and Shafi'i Madhab schools of thought. It's called the Tasabih prayer. Uh, it's a really special prayer. Ammu Tarif will describe how to do it. Uh, in the main hall. And it's a very, very nice prayer. If you've never done it once in your life, do it at least once in your life. Because we want to do every, every, everything in our books and everything in our tradition at least once. So we go to the Prophet Sallallahu and he's proud. It's the Tasabih prayer, where within the prayer, Amul Tarif will describe, we do SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, 70 ta 75 times each rak'ah for a total of 300 times. May Allah accept, inshaAllah.